Welcome back to Candy Mountain. This week we have group two of our modified diecast racing series. To be crowned the first ever hot tamale, these four cars will be battling today and only two will move on to the semi-final round to be crowned the hot tamale. Let's meet our drivers. We have Scooter Roundwell in a Stingray Corvette, driving for Spirit of 64. Driving for Uncle Elvis Racing, we have Uncle Elvis himself in a Jaguar XJ220. Next we have Bolo Brown, driving for Miniature Car Racing in a F-150 Lightning. And lastly we have Spy Dude, racing for Aces High Racing in a 1963 Studebaker pickup. We will run four races. The cars will rotate one position, so every car has a chance of getting in that pole position. Scooter Roundwell in that Corvette out front. He is holding that first place position. He does spin around sideways. Looks like Spy Dude is also sideways. As they come past that cotton candy, Scooter Roundwell is in reverse. Uncle Elvis is right behind him. Scooter Roundwell does hold it out for first place, followed by Uncle Elvis and Spy Dude. I'm not sure what happened to Bolo Brown in that beautiful red lightning. Not sure what happened to him there, but he is hanging out with the monster trucks. Let's watch that back and see what happened here. Scooter Roundwell does spin around. Spy Dude is up on the curb, but gets off, takes out a couple of barrels with him. Scooter is driving in reverse. To the left of your screen there, you see Bolo Brown trying to cut on the inside and getting pushed off the track by Spy Dude. He will not finish. He will get zero points. Scooter Roundwell, four points. Good start for him. Uncle Elvis in that Jaguar. Now taking the pole position. He has three points. Bolo Brown on the left-hand side out front. Is he able to pull around Uncle Elvis and take the lead? He is not. Uncle Elvis is looking fast. But Bolo Brown spins around and heads backwards. Spy Dude is right on his tail. It looks like they are trading some paint back there as they come to the finish line. Uncle Elvis takes it. Bolo Brown second place as he smashes off that curb in reverse. Let's watch that replay again here. We have, they're coming through that first turn, Lollipop landing in a nice cluster. Looks like Spy Dude and Scooter Roundwell get connected a little bit there. Bolo Brown spins around. Uncle Elvis just walks away with this one. And man, that is exactly why you do not try to go in reverse. I tell you every single time, don't drive in reverse. You're going to wreck. Sure enough, he wrecked. But it looks like he's back on the track. The medical crew took care of him. He only had a minor concussion. He's back on the track. And now Bolo Brown is in the pole position. What will he do with this position? He is out front. Will he be able to hold on to it as Uncle Elvis is right behind him, followed by Scooter Roundwell and Spy Dude. Looks like Bolo Brown is out front as they come into the donut wall. And, whoa, look, Bolo Brown disappeared and Uncle Elvis will take the win. And there you have Spy Dude and Scooter Roundwell uh, battling for second and third place. We'll see who won here when we slow down the, the replay. Uh, but I'm really curious to know what happened to Bolo Brown in that donut wall. Uh, we joke that I put my cat back there and he kind of just paws at the cars as they go by. Uh, but really it's a mystery what happens in the donut wall. No one will ever know until one day we demo that wall and you'll see what's behind it. Four points for Uncle Elvis. And then we'll watch that slow motion replay of Spy Dude and Scooter Roundwell. It looks like Spy Dude and that Studebaker does pull ahead just a little bit. And so he will take second place as the points reflect that here. Uh, looks like Bolo Brown needs some points to get in this game in this last race. Will he be able to do it? Is it even possible? I did not do the math. I don't have that many fingers uh, and can't count, unfortunately. Uh, Spy Dude is out front, followed by Uncle Elvis. Will he be able to hold on to that? He needs those points. Spy Dude, oh, closes the door on Uncle Elvis. Uncle Elvis is trying to get by, but Spy Dude says he needs that, needs those points and takes first place. Uh, Bolo Brown, you see here, hanging out with the monster trucks again, unable to finish uh, yet another race. Uh, unfortunately, that lightning looked fast, but he was unable to keep it on the track. Uh, and that's 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 the main thing. It's because consistency is key here in uh, the tiny track cars at Candy Mountain. 
looks like Uncle Elvis there bounced off some candy uh, and still was able to make it across the finish line. So there you have it. Uncle Elvis moves on and Spy Dude and that Studebaker moves on. Here is a look at your bracket. The four on your left will be paired together in the semifinals and we will race groups three and group four to see who else would join them in the semifinal round. These cars are one step closer to being crowned Hot Tamale at Candy Mountain. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment and do all those things that the algorithm tells you you should do. Thank you and have a good night.